Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God in your midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Song of Solomon 2.4 He brought me to the banqueting house, and His banner over me was love. Psalm 64 You have set up a banner for those who fear you, that they may flee to it from the bow. Psalm 18, 1 through 2. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Isaiah 61, 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Psalm 139, 16 through 17. Your eyes saw my substance, being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! Matthew 10, 29 through 31. Are not sparrows sold for a copper coin, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Romans 8, 28 through 29. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Psalm 149, 4. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Psalm 71, 23. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing to you, and my soul, which you have redeemed. Ezekiel thirty four twenty six. I will make them and the places all around my hill a blessing, and I will cause showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessing. Psalm 97.10 You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Psalm 29.11 The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41 13. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Isaiah 25 1. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. 1 John 4.16 And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God. And God in him. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 55, 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Psalm 16, 2. O oh, my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. Hebrews 13, 20 through 21. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 
3, 8, salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Selah. Habakkuk 3, 19, the Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high hills. 1 Samuel 2, verse 2. No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you, nor is there any rock like our God. Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Psalm 62, 7. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of of my strength and my refuge is in God. Ecclesiastes 11 5. As you do not know what is the way of the wind or how the bones grow in the womb of her who is with child, so you do not know the works of God who makes everything. Deuteronomy 7 9. Therefore, know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. Psalm 138 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. 1 John 5 for, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Psalm 124, 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 27, 4. One thing I have decided of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Psalm 105, 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy 4, 39. Therefore know this day and consider it in your heart that the Lord himself is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath there is no other. Psalm 33, 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Psalm 45. Many, O Lord my God, are the wonders which you have done and your thoughts toward us. There is none to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Psalm 144, 3. O Lord, what is man that you take knowledge of him, or the son of man that you think of him? John 10, 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. First John 4, 13. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalm 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Romans 10, 13. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. John 17, 3. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Romans 11, 33. Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Revelation 21, 3 through 4. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself 
will be with them and be their god and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes there shall be no more death nor sorrow nor crying there shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away jeremiah twenty three twenty four can any one hide himself in secret places so i shall not see him says the lord do i not fill heaven and earth says the lord proverbs eighteen ten the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and are safe romans eight sixteen the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of god psalm thirty four ten the young lions lack and suffer hunger but those who seek the lord shall not lack any good thing romans eight thirty seven yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us first john four eleven beloved if god so loved us we also ought to love one another psalm thirty three eleven the counsel of the lord standeth forever the thoughts of his heart to all generations matthew ten twenty nine and thirty are not two sparrows sold for a penny yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care and even the very hairs of your head are all numbered psalm one eighteen fourteen through sixteen the lord is my strength and my defense he has become my salvation shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous the lord's right hand has done mighty things the lord's right hand is lifted high the lord's right hand has done mighty things second timothy one seven for the spirit god gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline john sixteen thirty three i have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart i have overcome the world john fourteen twenty seven peace i leave with you my peace i give you i do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid psalm thirty one six the lord almighty is with us the god of jacob is our fortress colossians three fifteen let the peace of christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful deuteronomy thirty one six be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the lord your god goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you psalm twenty seven one the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid proverbs three five through six trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight psalm four thirteen be strong and take heart all you who hope in the lord philippians four thirteen i can do all this through him who gives me strength isaiah twelve two surely god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid the lord the lord himself is my strength and my defense he has become my salvation psalm sixteen eight i keep my eyes always on the lord with him at my right hand i will not be shaken second corinthians four sixteen through eighteen therefore we do not lose heart though outwardly we are wasting away yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen since what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal zephaniah three seventeen the lord your god is with you the mighty warrior who saves he will take great 
delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. 1 Timothy 1, 17. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, to God who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 1 John 4, 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. 2 Chronicles 32, 8 With him is only the arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people gain confidence from what Hezekiah, the king of Judah, said. Galatians 6, 9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Matthew seventeen twenty. He replied, Because you have so little faith, truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. 1 Corinthians 1558. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Hebrews 13 5 through 6. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Isaiah 26, 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Matthew 6, 34 Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Psalm fifty five twenty two. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 9, 9 through 10. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Psalm 34, 10. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Isaiah 26, 3 through 4. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. First Chronicles 16.11 Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Psalm 32, 7 through 8. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Deuteronomy 31, 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 121, 1 through 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. 
Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Isaiah 49, 13. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. Deuteronomy 31 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Psalm 9 9. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 29. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod God and your staff, they comfort me. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. John sixteen thirty three. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Romans 8, 6. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Colossians 3.15. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Psalm 4.3. Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Isaiah 41, 4. Who has performed and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, am the first, and with the last, I am he. Psalm 67, 7. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall shall fear him. Daniel 2.22. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Psalm 24, 1. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Psalm 24, 1. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Lamentations 5, 19. You, O Lord, remain forever your throne from generation to generation. 1 John 3, 24. Now he who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he in him, and by this this we know he abides in us by the Spirit whom he has given us. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Ephesians 1, 4 through 5. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. 
having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 4. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Second Peter 1, 3 through 4. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine. Psalm thirty-three, twelve. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. Zechariah 4, 6. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Psalm 94, 14. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. Exodus 19, 5. Now then, if you indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Deuteronomy 31 8. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Genesis 1 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Hosea 13, 4. Yet I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt, and you shall know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. John 14, 2 through 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Revelation 21, 3 through 4. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and he will not make it good? 1 Corinthians 2, 10. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Colossians 3, 14. And above all these things, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Zephariah 9, 16. On that day, the Lord their God will save them as the flock of his people. For like the jewels of a crown, they shall shine on his land. Psalm 139, 2. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. 
Psalm 92, 5. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. Psalm 139, 17. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them. Psalm 92, 5. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. Psalm 139, 17. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them. Psalm 26. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. 1 John 3, 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 12, 32. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Psalm 86, 15. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Job 1.10 Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. Song of Solomon 6. Four. You are beautiful as Terzah, my love, lovely as Jerusalem, awesome as an army with banners. Psalm 63, 2-5 So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. Ephesians 2, 4-5 5. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. John fifteen thirteen. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. First John 4, 9 through 11. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him in this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Ephesians 5 to and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Second Corinthians 5.14 For the love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans 8.36 
37 through 39 no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for i am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord isaiah fifty four ten for the mountains may depart and the hills be removed but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be removed says the lord who has compassion on you song of solomon eight six set me as a seal upon your heart as a seal upon your arm for love is strong as death jealousy is fierce as the grave its flashes are flashes of fire the very flame of the lord psalm sixty three two so i have looked upon you in the sanctuary beholding your power and glory romans five two through five through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of god more than that we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not put us to shame because god's love has been poured into our heart through the holy spirit who has been given to us psalm one thirty six twenty six give thanks to the god of heaven for his steadfast love endures forever psalm thirty six six through six your steadfast love o lord extends to the heavens your faithfulness to the cloud your righteousness is like the mountains of god your judgments are like the great deep man and beast you save o lord psalm fifty six nine then my enemies will turn back in the day when i call this i know that god is for me psalm one eighteen six the lord is for me i will not fear what can man do to me psalm one eighteen seven the lord is for me among those who help me therefore i will look with satisfaction on those who hate me ezekiel thirty six nine four behold i am for you i will turn to you and you will be cultivated and sown psalm forty two eight the lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and his song will be with me in the night a prayer to the god of my life psalm fifty four four behold god is my helper the lord is the sustainer of my soul isaiah forty one ten do not fear for i am with you do not anxiously look about you for i am your god i will strengthen you surely i will help you surely i will uphold you with my righteous right hand psalm one twenty one five the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade on your right hand psalm sixteen two i said to the lord you are my lord i have no good besides you jeremiah ten six there is none like you o lord you are great and great is your name in might psalm one eighteen six the lord is for me i will not fear what can man do to me first corinthians three sixteen do you not know that you are a temple of god and the spirit of god dwells in you psalm eighteen thirty as for god his way is blameless the word of the lord is tried he is a shield to all who take refuge in him first corinthians eight six yet for us there is but one god the father from whom are all things and we exist for him and one lord jesus christ by whom are all things and we exist through him romans fifteen 
13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 48 14 for such is god our god forever and ever he will guide us until death deuteronomy 31 8 the lord is the one who goes ahead of you he will be with you he will not fail you or forsake you do not fear or be dismayed exodus fifteen three. the lord is a warrior the lord is his name psalm sixty two five my soul wait in silence for god only for my hope is from him psalm eighty three eighteen that they may know that you alone whose name is the lord are the most high over all the earth hebrews thirteen eight jesus christ is the same yesterday and today and forever psalm seventy seven fourteen you are the god who works wonders you have made known your strength among the peoples first corinthians six seventeen but the one who joins himself to the lord is one spirit with him matthew ten nineteen but when they hand you over do not worry about how or what you are to say for it will be given you in that hour what you are to say ephesians three nineteen and to know the love of christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled up to all the fullness of god psalm twenty nine eleven the lord will give strength to his people the lord will bless his people with peace proverbs two seven he stores up sound wisdom for the upright he is a shield to those who walk uprightly ephesians one three blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in christ psalm one thirty eight three on the day i called you answered me my strength of soul you increased psalm twenty seven one the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid romans eight thirty two he who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things romans five five now hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts by the holy spirit who has given to us deuteronomy twenty four for the lord your god is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory first corinthians fifteen fifty five where o death is your victory where o death is your sting first corinthians fifteen fifty seven but thanks be to god he gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ second peter one three as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue first john five for for whatever is born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith first corinthians fifteen fifty seven but thanks be to god who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ romans eight thirty seven yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us psalm three three but you o lord are a shield for me my glory in the one who lifts up my head first john four four you are of god little children and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world luke one thirty seven for with god nothing will be impossible isaiah forty three two when you pass through the waters i will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you 
1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Psalm 31, 24. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart all you who hope in the lord psalm 23 4 yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me second corinthians 4 17 for our light affliction which is but for a moment is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory second corinthians four sixteen therefore we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing yet the inward man is being renewed day by day isaiah fifty one twelve i even i am he who comforts you who are you that you should be afraid of a man who will die and of the son of man who will be made like grass colossians two two that their hearts may be encouraged being knit together in love and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of god both of the father and of christ revelation seven sixteen through seventeen they shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more the sun shall not strike them nor any heat for the lamb who is is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes second corinthians one five for as the sufferings of christ abound in us so our consolation also abounds through christ psalm seventy three twenty six my flesh and my heart fail but god is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever psalm eighteen one through two i will love you o lord my strength the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my strength in whom i will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold second thessalonians three three but the lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one first corinthians sixteen thirteen watch stand fast in the faith be brave be strong psalm fifty nine sixteen but i will sing of your power yes i will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble jeremiah thirty two seventeen ah lord god behold you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm there is nothing too hard for you habakkuk three nineteen the lord god is my strength he will make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high hills psalm twenty eight seven the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him and i am helped therefore my heart greatly rejoices and with my song i will praise him ephesians three twenty twenty one now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by christ jesus to all generations forever and ever amen first chronicles twenty nine eleven yours o lord is the greatness the power in the glory the victory in the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth are yours yours is the kingdom o lord and you are exalted as head over all psalm forty four three for they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword nor did their own arms save them but it was 
your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance because you favored them. Colossians 2, 9 through 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Psalm 29, 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. First Chronicles 29, 12. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Second Timothy 2, 1. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Second Peter 1, 3. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Second Chronicles 15, 7. But you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. Psalm 27, 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord.